Hola YouTubers Mayamo Matha Fanatic. Today we're going to construct a perpendicular uh, to a given line from a given point. Notice that this given point here is not in the middle of the line. Uh, there can be no middle of the line since it goes infinitely in both directions. Uh, it's just above the line somewhere. It could also be below, whichever. But what we need to do is to create a segment or array or another line that goes from this point and uh, takes the shortest route to this line, which would be perpendicularly. So the first thing you need to do is take your compass uh, and you move it so that the point of the compass, the needle, is on the point that we are constructing the perpendicular from. Uh, then you need to open your compass so that it extends past the line. So here I'm not quite long enough, I need to extend it just a little bit further. So here I've extended it so it goes past the line. Now you want to give yourself a little leeway, so don't put it like right past the line. Uh, so I went here just a little bit with some white space. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike an arc that uh, intersects the line in two places. Uh, strike an arc so that it intersects in two places. So there's my arc. And so I have these two intersections here and here. And these two intersections are going to be really important. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bisect the, the segment that is created from these two intersections. So I created a video before about bisecting a segment, and we're going to do that exact same construction here. So I bring my compass down here, I place the needle on that intersection, and then I need to open my compass past the halfway point. Um, so that looks about past the halfway point. And then I need to strike an arc above and below. So hopefully that'll work out for us there. And then keeping the same setting, I move the needle over to the other intersection. And flip this around. And I'm going to strike yet another arc so that it intersects that first arc that I created. And then I'm done with my compass, and then hopefully when I create my segment through these two intersections, it should also go through that point. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that doesn't work for us. Right there. And it looks like it goes pretty much right through the point. The software is a little bit off, but you can see that essentially it does go through that point. I'll just center it up here. Alright, so that's how you draw a perpendicular or construct a perpendicular from a given point to a given line. And this will come in handy when we create perpendicular bisectors in later constructions. If you have any questions, put them underneath this video, please. Thanks for watching. Come again. Peace out.